Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video review. I am the Tech Cooch, and here I'm back with an accessory actually from my iPad Pro. Uh, this is the Bridge Aluminum Keyboard um, for iPad Air, iPad Air 2, iPad Pro. Uh, they also offer it for the iPad Mini Series, as well as the 12-inch iPad Pro as well. So, um, this guy, to start off, uh, 150 bucks. You can pick it up online. You can pick it up at your local Best Buy. You can pick it up various locations. I'm going to post drink directly to a link to it below. If you do purchase it through that, you are supporting the channel. I appreciate it. So this is a product that I wasn't sent. I actually reviewed it. I actually purchased it myself. Um, essentially, what I was looking for is I wanted to have a keyboard for my iPad Pro that operated what good, gave me a good amount of uh, capability in terms of what screen angle I wanted it at. I was going to look at the actual iPad uh, or the Apple keyboard um, case, the kind of that they make for it, but in the end, I wanted something that kind of acted similar to a laptop. Um, I've actually had a couple of other ones in the past, uh, and not really finding one that I enjoyed too much. So when this guy came out, uh, I was actually pretty excited about it. Uh, I got it. Uh, a couple couple weeks ago now and have been using it ever since and love it there are a huge number of benefits that this guy does that i love uh first off it is self-charged um while i'm okay with ones that actually would pull off the power of the uh, ipad itself uh, it does have a three month battery life uh, up to three months, I guess, is probably what they say. So it all depends on how you use it, how much you use it, if you use the sound capability. But yes, there are speakers built into this guy. So it's not just power for the keyboard, it's also power for the speakers built into it as well. Um, it also has backlit illuminated keyboard. keyboard. So when you're seeing, you know, doing things at night, you can actually see what you're actually typing or what's actually on the keyboard and get your fingers oriented properly. Uh, very, very flexible. You can basically go from the full clamshell all the way to 180 degrees. Uh, that's where it's going to stop, but it will actually maintain at that angle too. So it's very, very similar to a MacBook Air, to be honest. That's, it feels a lot like that. Uh, the nice thing is, is that because of the hinge design, uh, as you bring it up, the keyboard angle slightly raises as well, which actually puts it at a really comfortable level if you're actually typing on a table. Uh, now, it is a keyboard as big as the iPad is. So the iPad Pro, actually, the 12-inch iPad Pro actually has a more comfortable keyboard than the 9.7 does. Uh, but like anything, it has to fit the size of the device. So, which brings me to probably my favorite feature, disconnectability. Other than the fact that to turn the keyboard on and off, there's a, po there's a power slide button right here. I can disconnect this guy from my iPad at ease and have use of my full iPad, especially when I'm actually a person that doesn't always need a keyboard and I'm gonna, I can actually stick this back in a case and use it wherever I wanna use it. And then if I wanna use my Apple Pencil, I can do that. And then come back over to the keyboard, slide it back down in, uh, adjust it just a slightly so it actually is in there properly and we're good to go. Uh, out of the box, it actually came set up for the iPad Air 2 and iPad Pro. In the box, they also give you the little rubber feet, essentially that's what's inside these metal clips is some rubber feet so you don't, first of all, you don't scratch the device, but also it gives it padding. It also, the thickness of the pad is dependent on the device. This is for the first generation iPad Air. So this one actually fits all iPad Airs and the iPad Pro. Also, even though it grabs onto the device and squeezes it, even with a glass screen protector on, it still does work. So this has a glass, tempered glass screen protector on it. Works fantastic. Typing on it. Typing on it is as expected with any smaller keyboard. It's not going to be quite as comfortable, but it works really, really well. Um, you simply turn it on for the first time. There is two buttons up front. One is the keyboard pairing button and the second is the sound pairing button. Uh, and it is noticeable. Um, so if I get out now, of course, I have the iPad Pro. So the sound capability of the iPad itself is great. So I don't necessarily need that capability with the speaker. Um, so let me, this is a video actually, one of my videos actually. Let me turn it up here. Several videos I've made. Uh, one so, of the last ones I made was on my right, go ahead pair the sound. gear router that I bought, which is basically their top dog, the R8400. It's a three channel beast of a router. So Fast it's router. different in its sound because the iPad Pro brings However, out sound here. It's actually gonna come out from down here. 
reliable. Which sounds different. Really, really uh, but you, like that, if I, when I compare it to, say, the uh, iPad, the iPad Air speakers, it's night and day. Uh, with the iPad Pro, you may or may not use it depending on what you're doing. And you can turn off the speakers at any time just by pushing and holding that, that sound button. Oh, let's see if I can do that again. There we go. Now I turned the sound off. So it de-linked the sound, and now it's just the, the keyboard again. And you can do the same thing with the keyboard. You can, uh, that's the pairing button. You can you push and hold that for the first time to get it to pair, pair it to the device, and you're good to go. If you don't want to use the keyboard, then obviously you just turn the thing off. So um, one thing, the one item that I wish that it did do that it doesn't, is when I close it, it doesn't turn the screen off. The screen actually, there's no uh, special magnet built into it that uh, that turns the screen off like a lot of cases do. So if there is one thing that I really wish that they would have integrated into this, it's that capability. A small magnet here so that when you close this, it turns the screen on. When I open it, it turns the screen, or it turns the screen off. When I open it, it turns the screen on. That would have been fantastic. That would actually uh, sold me even more uh, so when, Bridge, when you're actually updating this for volume or series two, please do that. That would be fantastic. And maybe there's a reason why you didn't, but that would be the one thing that I really wish it had. Everything else is about perfect. Um, of course, if they had the capability of being able to f almost flip around, not fully 360 degrees, but maybe just at an angle so uh, I could actually like prop it up like here and see it. Uh, I would always appreciate that, but with the, the hinge design, how it actually connects, I don't see how that's even possible. I'm fine with this. Absolutely fine with it. So definitely check it out. I'm, I'm going to post a link directly to the top of the description so you can check it out. And if you purchase through that link, you are actually supporting the show. But I also recommend, if you have time, head over to your local Best Buy. They'll actually have these in stock, and you can actually get your hands on it. Um, one other thing is they do offer it in different colors that match your iPad. So this is the Space Gray iPad. Space Gray keyboard. Matches it almost flawlessly. And there you can actually see the, the speakers I was talking about. Um, matches it flawlessly almost. Um, they do offer it in the silver, gold, and rose gold as well. So, and like I said, the various sizes for the various size iPads. Highly recommend it. Probably the best keyboard on the market in my opinion. Of course, it's an opinion. Uh, but definitely check them out. If you have any other questions or comment, please post those below. Subscribe to the channel above. And uh, I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, definitely check us out on social media at TechGooch as well as thetechgooch.com. And if you have any recommendations for other videos, please let me know through thetechgooch.com through our contact section. Otherwise, thanks for coming by. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope you subscribe and check out our future videos and our past videos. Please, by all means, support the show as best you can. I appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one.